morning guys. Good morning. Welcome to TM family. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. From Welcome where? to another video. <laughs> <laughs> from okay, I'm from Kenya. Kenya? Yeah. Wow, so how long in Ghana? Uh, a long time now. Oh, that's <laughs> yes. good. How do you feel? Uh, it's nice. It's okay. Oh, that's good. Lovely. <laughs> okay. So you go inside the castle. Yes. So maybe I'll see you on your way back. Okay, okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye. Okay, so guys, <laughs> I was trying to do an intro, but the guy is so persistent. But anyway, we are here at the castle now. This is the Cape Coast castle. Yesterday I came in and people were like, oh, you didn't do a tour, you didn't want... I thought I said... I thought I mentioned um, that I was going to find a coffee shop. I wasn't coming here for a tour. I was just uh, finding a coffee shop, but today I want us to do a tour. So let's see how it goes. I think this is where I'm supposed to pay. Uh, but I'm not sure. She's the president of Ghana. Nana Nukofu. I don't know if I'm saying his name well or I'm butchering it. But let's see. Good morning. Oh, sorry. I want to yeah, do a tour, yeah. just go yeah, straight ahead? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that's where we were. Yeah, this place is like the market. Uh, it extends to this side. And this castle is like huge. It's like huge. So this is the Cape Coast castle. There are two castles here. One is called the Cape Coast and one is called Elimina. So here at where we are at Cape Coast. So sometimes they do charge extra for filming so let me just make sure let me just see what they say okay and i'll talk to you guys in a minute it's all right <laughs> i'll not be doing a, a tour of uh, this this um this uh um what is it called this uh castle unfortunately because for me to record a video i need to pay 250 cd for what 250 cd to record a video no no i refuse to pay that is an equivalent of uh, 25 dollars or um, uh, or twenty-five dollars, or what's it called? Uh, about two thousand seven hundred Kenya shillings. No, I'm not going to pay for that because I already have to pay an entrance fee of uh, fifty. Let me see if I can get a tuk-tuk. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Morning. I want to go to Elimina Elimina Castle. Elimina Castle. Yeah. I'd like to take a taxi. Oh, the tuk-tuk cannot go. Yes, Why? Cannot go Why not? Because of the highway. Ah, okay. So you're not allowed to go to the highway. Yeah, ah, okay, okay. Thank you. So let me get a tuk tuk, guys. Let me go to taxi because the tuk tuk. The tuk tuk is not allowed to to go there. So I have to get a taxi, and then I'll get I'll get I'll get a bolt, and then we we'll go check out. But in that one, I have to pay 252 to record. Um, oh, wait a minute. I need to pay 50. To go in and then i need to pay 250 for recording so that's a total of 300 cd which is like um, 30 dollars or um 3300 shillings it's too much it's too much sorry i'm not going to pay that even if i'm interested in history and seeing all it has to offer it's too much so let me go try the other castle if it's the same unfortunately <laughs> there won't be any history classes from here unfortunately which is sad because uh, I think uh, this place will have like interesting history. But yeah, no, 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 it's too much. No, forget yeah, about it. So let me talk to you in a bit, okay? Bye. Okay, so I'm on my way to Elimina Castle, which I'm going to check out. Um, if they let me do a tour, the tour is not a problem. The, the, the fee that they're charging to, to, to record is, is a problem. It doesn't make sense. When you're charging 250 CD to to record, and you're also charging 50 CD as an entrance fee, <laughs> total 300 CD, uh, 30 dollars. They are about they're about. And this thing is actually going to promote you more. More people will be interested in coming to see to, to see the history. If anything, people who make feel, uh, make people who record and put it out there should be paid because this is free marketing, you know. But uh, I don't understand how they think. So. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to pay that much uh, to record. It's okay. It's not something that I have to see. It's something that I wanted to see. There's a difference. So, um, let's go see if Elimina is the same. If it's the same, I'm, I'm so sorry. It will, it will have been a wasted trip to Cape, Cape Coast. It will be a, been a wasted trip. I'll just move on. <laughs> so, yeah, this is uh, the other part of the city. Yeah, I'll talk to you guys later when we get to Cape Coast. I'm feeling sad. 
some type of way about the whole thing hopefully some type of way because they should um, I think they should be more open to the people who manage the place they should be more open to suggestions especially now it's like low season there's less tourists so they need marketing to get more tourists coming in and this is one of the way to do the marketing so anyway <laughs> Hi family, I'm inside the, the castle now and I already did, did a tour, I just finished the tour, it's, uh, it was very intense, uh, these historical things, uh, they're normally very intense and uh, I love history but at the same time it's like what, anyway, so because it was very long I didn't record anything when we were with the guard and it was, uh, it was also like a group tour, many people. So I decided to first finish the tour and then um, like give you a version of it, you know, because it's like very, very long. So this is inside the castle. This is what it looks like. I am going to show you the outside later. I came in uh, without my camera first, so they should ask if I could film or anything or something like that. They said it's okay. So this is what it looks like. Um, so let's start with the female slave dungeons um i think inside here we have an echo because as you can see it's an enclosed space but uh, this is where the female captives i want to call them captives i don't want to call them slaves were held because they were not slaves they were free people and they were captured and sold into sold into slavery so this was some of the dungeons where they were held it's very dark no ventilation whatsoever, as you can see. Yo, uh, so there are a lot of dungeons which are similar. Um, this one too. This place they give us, they gave me a, a bit of claustrophobia, and I can imagine if it's just me and I'm feeling there's no air. I can imagine when there's a like a group of people, you know. Remember this. Remember this staircase, I'll tell you something about it later. Remember it. So this was like the out outdoor place where, okay, let me first show you this. This was the biggest dungeon in here. This was the biggest one. This used to hold, he said, about uh, 150, 100, 100, sorry, 70. This was holding 70 slaves. And this, uh, these clothes here, they're not the originals. Uh, some of the Americans who came back, uh, I think in 2015, they had like a ceremony where some of the Americans, some of African Americans came and they slept here for a night to like get the experience of what their ancestors went through. So these clothes were what they wore and they slept on the floor. These are the original floors. This red brick, bricks means Okay, so first let me finish the clothes and then explain. I missed a little bit of the history. I'll come back to that. But they slept on these floors here. And uh, he said that some of them afterwards, um, in the morning, they got sick. They had to be taken to the hospital because well, imagine sleeping in a place like this. 70 of you, no ventilation, you know. These are the metallic beams that used to be there back in the day. But because of, um, that used to be here back in the day, this, these ones are wooden. Because this place is near the sea, they rusted. So yeah, so they replaced this. But yeah, 70 people in this small space, no ventilation. No ventilation whatsoever. And um, something I forget to mention is that yellow bricks and red bricks. We will see that along the way. Why do we have yellow and red bricks? It's because this castle was occupied by three European powers. So the first uh, European power to get here was Portuguese. I can't remember the exact years, but please go do the research later. I can't tell you like the exact years. 
but uh, the Portuguese were here for I think 150 years and then the Dutch tried to, to invade them two times and failed two times from the ocean and failed and the third time they came from the ocean and from the inland and they won and they took over this castle and they were here, here for I think 250 years he said so when the Portuguese came they were trading butter trade trading uh, gold trading whatever natural resources they were here that were here and they brought their own European European goods and uh, yeah they named this particular place Elimina so I'm not in Cape Coast it's Elimina is an a, a, a small town outside of Cape Town, 20 minutes <clears throat> drive away. So Elimina in uh, Portuguese means the mine. So because there was a lot of gold here, they called it the mine. So this is the Elimina castle. So when the Portuguese came here and they saw that, that there was a lot of gold, uh, they went to the, the chiefs and they requested that they be given land. And remember that time there was no slave trade, it was just butter trade. So they requested that they would be given land to build their own place to stay, and the chiefs were against it. But they managed to convince them, you know. They managed to convince the chiefs uh, that, oh, it's just trade, da, da 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 So the chief approved, and then they gave them this space to build the castle. I'm going to show you, like, the castle, the whole castle later. So when the Portuguese came, they came with their own bricks, red bricks. Even now, now in, the, in Portugal, you can see a lot of buildings with the red bricks. And then later, when the Dutch conquered them, they came and they expanded the place. It wasn't this big. And uh, they put the yellow. So the, where you see the yellow, it means it was built by the Dutch. And where you see the red, it means it was built by the Portuguese. <clears throat> I hope I made that clear enough. So this was the biggest, this right here was the biggest dungeon uh, where female slaves were held. This is only for the female slaves. So the biggest one is here. And this was oof the smell in this place oh my god it's so musty so musty you can't even breathe oh there was 150 of them here these are the original floors from that time i want to see what's here because i think we missed this part there's like a hole here it's very dark and the smell is coming from there so they said that um, this place it held the female 150 of them there was no washroom there was no bathroom there's no toilet there was nothing so they used to put containers here where if you want to pee if you want to number two you'd come and use it here so if you are a female slave and you're feeling a little bit sickly and the container is over there and you can't get there you do your thing on the way and nobody's cleaning it you know so so many people died in here from diseases and you know hygienic reason and all that so the only, this, this door here was closed, this one was closed, so the only ventilation that this big room got is this and the other one that's there, similar. That was the only ventilation that was here in this room with 150 people and this, this is the only thing that you could breathe. Guys, humanity was non-existent, I think. Humanity was really non-existent those days because there's no way, if you're human, there's no way you do that. And this is another dungeon connected to that one. So this is where uh, the, water, the water was <coughs> kept. It still works to, not to date. Uh, let me show you. It's heavy. I don't think I can open it by myself. So they collected rainwater. It's heavy. Eh, sorry. It's heavy, it's like a, a well, and under, under this ground is like the storage. And the way I'm walking under it is the water well, so they used to collect rainwater. And uh, so, the, you see up there, I want to show you this place. Up, first of all, up there, the house there, upstairs, was the governor's mansion. So it was occupied by the British governor, the Portuguese governor, the Dutch governor, depending on who was um, in charge those days. So the governor, he used to stand up there and then he would look down here at the female slaves. So they'd be paraded here and he would choose one who he wanted to rape. Let me call it rape because it was rape. I hope YouTube will not demonetize this video because of that. <clears throat> so he would choose one woman 
and uh, the one woman that he chose from there he would look down and choose one woman the one she chose she would be allowed to take a shower from the by, from the water from here and then she would use this staircase remember i told you to remember this staircase she would be taken up this staircase to go into the governor's it goes directly into the governor's bedroom i will show you when i go up there so the women they were raped i don't know if i should say this word because we, um, youtube may demonetize so they were sexually assaulted let me say that they were sexually assaulted and then they were brought back to being slaves there was no because i have abused you maybe you should be free there was not that you I, I, you do you have served your purpose come back into the dungeon guys after you serve your purpose you come back into the dungeon history is oh history sometimes is a little bit intense you know but anyway this um uh, what's it called this ball here I, I don't remember the name of this metallic ball it was used to it's very heavy it had chains on the side and if you're a woman it had chains here there's a hole but it's covered by mud if you're a woman and you misbehaved they would chain your leg here and the other one was here and they would chain your legs like wide apart and then you'd have to stand uh, in the rain and in the sun and you would have a weather all day no food no water nothing uh, and they would it was a way to humiliate you and to kill the spirit of all the others because when the other women saw what you were going through they wouldn't um, resist they would do whatever they were told to do because they didn't want to go through all of this so yeah humanity for you guys humanity for you this um, whole thing is a little bit too intense for me and uh, I'm sorry if you feel like it is too intense for you but this is our history and we need to learn more about it so this here is the way to the door of no return so all the female slaves <coughs> oh i forgot to mention that they used to stay in the dungeons for three months because the ship that came to collect them would come every three months so all the the, the women who are here when the ship came they all had to follow this road this uh, little door go inside now it's been renovated, they put a drainage system, but back then it was steps. You would go down the steps and head into the door of no return, which I will show you guys later. Yeah, so, wow, that was really, really intense history for me. Um, I will take you to the male, male dungeons now, and let's see what uh, the males went to, okay? See you in a minute. So this is the male dungeon, and look at that. The male one was even much larger. All, all, of, all of the ones in the ground, ground, no, let me explain better. I think I didn't explain that very well. So all of this down here, all of them, they were male dungeons. So this was the biggest one. This was the biggest one. That was also a room, part of the dungeon. I, he didn't say anything about this room, actually. I didn't think I saw it at that time I'd have asked. So all the rooms down here, they are the male dungeon. I'm also trying to film a little bit covertly because I don't want them to, like, you know, ask questions. So are you filming and charge me money and then I'm able to show you this content? So I'm sorry if I'm moving too fast. Yeah, but this was the male dungeon. No ventilation, only that, only this and only this. These two were the only ones that used for ventilation. The door was closed, of course. And then after the three months, when the ship came, this is where you went down. Okay, this little dark room here. And then this is the door that I showed you from the female, female, um, from the female uh, dungeons. And I told you here there were steps, but they renovated them into drainage. So the female would come here, through here, the males would come through here and then they would meet here and then they would have to go through this this tiny tiny door and you have to bend and they were told once you went through this door that would count five steps and then stand up so one two three four five and then stand up when you came in you had to bend and count three steps five steps before you stood up 
So in this tiny room here, the one that I just came from, I didn't want to stand there for too long because it's very, there's no fresh air. There's no fresh air there. It's, it's very easy to, to suffocate. So this, in this room here, when the females and the males met, some of them found out that they have family there. Like your brother was captured, your mother was captured, your friend was captured, and you haven't seen them for three months. And you would just meet, meet each other there and start to cry and hug and, and kiss and all those things, you know. In that tiny, tiny room, it was like where the people used to meet. And this is where they would pack as they waited. And then this is the door of no return, guys. Another door of no return. So once you're here, there was no coming back. So back in those days, the ocean was up to here. The ocean water, ocean water was up to here. Uh, it has receded now, but it was up to here. So the small canoes would get you from here, and then they would take you to the big ships. The big ships are waiting there. So you just get into the canoe, go to the big ship, never to return, never to return, guys. So I showed you the door of return in Accra, and this is the door of no return in in Cape Coast, in Elimina, sorry, not in Cape Coast. In Elimina, those are two different places. So as you can see, there's a lot of flowers here. Some of the African-Americans and some of the people from the Caribbeans, the one who visited, they brought this for, for to, 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 you know, to honor their ancestors who died. Many of them died, actually. The guide, the guide said that more people there's a lot of people who died here and also a lot of people who died in transit. Like in the, in the ship, there's so many people who died. Maybe a third or a half of the people who are taken from here, they died on transit. So very few of them made it there. And once you died, they, they would throw your body into the ocean. Also from here, as a slave, if you died, no, as a captive, not as a slave, they were not slave guys. Let's get this right. They were not slaves, they were taken, captured and made into slaves. So here as a captive, if you died, they would throw your body into the ocean as well. But in this town, there's a Dutch cemetery where, where the Dutch slave masters, they were buried. <laughs> but for the, for the slaves, for the capture, cap, captives, thrown into the ocean. Thank you very much, the Dutch. Thank you very much. So here, let me read one. It says, to our beloved ancestors, John C. Harvey, and Cassandra and Harvey made it home. So these I'm thinking are the African Americans who came back. So there's a lot. The people just brought flowers to honor the ancestors. Here we have uh, uh, schnapps and water. So people brought it to like libation, give it to the ancestors, you know. So they left bottles of water. So when the ancestors came, they would have something to drink. The spirits of the ancestors, some gifts, uh, which is a very nice gesture. So those lost spirits, if they ever find their way home, they'll find something here. So yeah, it's, uh, it's quite intense, very, very intense. So oh, this castle is very big. I am going to take you to the other side. And I, am, I want to say I'm sorry if today's vlog is a little bit solemn, but actually I, am, I don't think I should apologize for this because I'm human. And being here makes me feel a certain type of way, so yeah, let's continue the tour, guys. So here, we're going upstairs, and upstairs is where we have the governor's, uh, uh, we have the governor's bedroom, where all those poor women who are chosen to go and be sexually assaulted by the governor, where are they? And they were brought. Okay, so here is uh, the trap door. You remember? You remember the staircase that I showed you coming up? Here. Let me try to open this. It's heavy. I can't. It's like these doors are really heavy. But let me see. I can't, guys. It's like really heavy. But can you see the staircase? Yes. So that is the staircase that they came up through. And then the, from this staircase, they will go directly into the governor's bedroom. But before that, let me show you where I stood. This is where I was showing you from down there. But this is where he stood and looked down and decided which woman he wants. And then the woman would have to go in there 
through the staircase and come up to his bedroom. There is wow, wow, it's amazing. He never ceases to amaze me what uh, what uh, human beings are capable of. So this was the let me show you. This was the officer's mess. So the officers they just came here to relax and have their drinks. Uh, of course, celebrate uh, what they did to the people they they captured, you know. But uh, before we go out, because this one goes out to show you the view, before we go out, let's first go up the stairs. I want to show you uh, the governor's bedroom. So these stairs, they go up to the to the governor's bedroom. So this right here was the governor's bedroom. That was it. I want to see, I wanted to see how spacious it was, and the windows. One, two, three. Those were the windows, and that was the view that the governor enjoyed. That was the view. Those are the windows and the room, the governor's bedroom. This is where all the women were assaulted from. This is another one of the living rooms. Four, five, six, seven. Seven windows, one of the living rooms. There's another living room. Eight, nine, 10, 11, and there's the one out there, 12. So this governor, he had 12 windows, 12 windows, guys. So much fresh air coming from here. The breeze, I think you can even hear the sound of the ocean from here. And the slaves, the captives, the captives, they had like the milk dungeon. They had two little things that looked like chimneys for ventilation. The female one, they had two little doors for ventilation. But this guy, he had 12 windows. For one person, 12 windows. Hi, this was his bathroom, but it's closed. <laughs> history, <laughs> history guys, history. <sighs> anyway, let me take you outside and show you the view. From outside and let's continue with the uh, with the tour yeah but uh, this is the 12th window that i was talking about this is the 12th window that i was talking about and the others that i counted they're down there and that is the officer's mess history guys history anyway i'll talk to you uh when i get to the to outside or let me just take you in one trip to the outside so you see even the officers they had a big door there and another big door here when you open you have a lot of ventilation but the slaves no you don't need to breathe no okay let me talk to you guys in a bit okay so now we are up here on top of the fort these were the cannons from back back in the day and this place has like such a beautiful view look at that and that's up there we will go there later it's one of the forts that uh, the Dutch, do you remember the Dutch uh, came and attacked the Portuguese from the ocean and from the mainland? So when they took over this uh, castle, they built a fort in the mainland, facing the mainland to protect themselves from invasion. From invasion, the, way, the same way they invaded the, the Portuguese and won. Yeah, so that uh, facing away is for, is for the protection of the Dutch. But look at the view from here. <laughs> it's insane that this place has such a beautiful view but such crazy history you know it's insane and then down here if you can see you have a moat there where you can see the 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 coconut tree all that was a moat it was filled up with water to make sure that nobody would access the castle and the bridge over there the black one you can lift it up what is the, are those big bridges called you can lift it up and put it down when you want to use it and when you're not using it you you put it down so that uh, nobody can come in nobody can access the castle without permission you know so that bridge is the one that i'm talking about and then down there okay i'll tell you about that one when you get there the compass because it's like so far um i'm sorry i'm showing you like anything so from so far but I'm trying to do it covertly because I don't want them to like ask why I'm recording like long videos and stuff because I told them it's just some short videos here and there okay 
So let me talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, so here we have the governor's kitchen. This is where the governor's, look at that huge ASS um, chimney. And uh, somewhere where he went down and he wanted to see the view and breathe, breathe fresh air. This is just where I came from to show you the view of the of uh, Limina. And this is part, still part of his, of his kitchen. The guy had two chimneys. He needed a big meal after all the sexual assault that he did on the women. He needed a big meal. So <laughs> this is the funniest part for me. <laughs> I don't know if I should be laughing or crying, <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> sometimes you use humor to deal with emotions, you know. So this right here is a church. This was a Dutch church. Uh, so I'll show you the Portuguese church because there are two churches in this castle. The Dutch church, this one, and the Portuguese church. So because the Portuguese were the first ones to arrive here, they were Catholics and they built a church outside. I will show it to you. But when the, Portu when the Dutch came, they changed that uh, church into like an officer's mess and I think storage and they came they built their own church here. So this church that they built down under it is a female dungeon. <laughs> You're here worshipping God, okay, praying to God, being holy, but under you there are women who are suffering, who are dying, who are starving. <laughs> But yeah, you're religious, that's all that matters. You have a God that you're praying to. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so there, there's a psalm. It says, Psalm 132. So I don't know if you can see it very well, but that is a Bible verse. It's written in Dutch, like they wrote back in the day. But Psalm 132. Actually, let me Google, because, um, because the guide said what it like said it in english but i forgot but it says something about this is my home this is where we rest something but let me google and tell you the exact thing okay give me a minute okay so i found the psalm <laughs> i found the psalm there it says oh lord remember david i'm reading from my phone or oh, oh lord remember david and all the hardships he endured till i find a place for the lord a dwelling for the mighty one of jacob Arise, O Lord, and come to your resting place, you and the ark of your might. May your priests be clothed in righteousness, and may your saints sing for joy. So, the slaves, O, o Lord, remember David for all the hardships he endured. So, was the hardships, did the Dutch soldiers meant that they had hardships here? Or was this for the slaves, for the captive, cap, captives, not for the slave. I have to keep reminding myself not to call them slaves. So I'm, I'm confused. Who are they pray, praying for? Are they praying for themselves or for the captives? They had a sense of humor, I think. If they were praying for themselves, then they really had a sense of humor because you put people in the most of, most of, in the most dehumanizing condition and then you pray for your <laughs> and then you pray for your <laughs> for your hardships they had a sense of humor you've got to give it that you've got to give that to them <laughs> wow anyway that is a tour of uh, the governors the male and the female dungeon there's one more there's two more parts that i want to show you and then we will complete this tour yeah history history well, let me talk to you guys in a bit. This uh, was the Portuguese chapel. So, this was a Catholic church back uh, when the Portuguese were here. <laughs> Which is amazing to me because <laughs> these people, they were trading slaves, but they had a, <laughs> a church. <laughs> wow. These slave masters, they had a, a, a sense of humor. You have to do it to them and then here there's a museum like to show how things happened when they happened so I didn't do a tour of this part but I will come back and do it um, later of course I want to know a little bit more of the history not just what uh, the guy told us but yeah initially this was um, it was a Catholic church for the Portuguese 
And then, like I told you, when the Dutch came, because they were not Catholic, they were Protestants, they changed this, they divided into two upstairs and downstairs, so this became the officer's mess, and up there it became something else, I can't remember what they said, but it was something else. Uh, it says here people, I don't know why there was a people, but yeah, <laughs> I really like that they had a church. <laughs> They have a, a sense of humor, you've got to give it to them religion. You should start questioning these things. <laughs> it, it, it was the easiest way to colonize people by, by colonizing them mentally. <laughs> anyway, so that was the officer's mess. So I want to show you from this window, the view from this side. So that is it. This is where the governor's mansion was. That's where their people are going up is a female dungeon. And then this is the male dungeon that we went to. You see the one with the yellow flowers? And this, there are more dungeons. Why, again, why I'm showing you covertly is because I don't want them to ask questions while I'm recording and then start charging me money and all that. And then this is a map of the entire uh, castle. So this is the castle, the area of view. So I've already showed you, we've done like a tour of most of it. This is the view that I was showing you. And this is a view of Elimina, Elimina town. So this is the door of no return is somewhere here. So this is where the slaves used to dock. No, this is where the big ships used to dock. And these canoes, they would come get the captives from here and then bring them to the big ship, okay? So there's two more rooms that I want to show you and then that will be the end of this tour, okay? Give me a minute, let me figure out how I can do it, okay? Until I have to watch if there's a guide or something, do it overtly so you get a bit. So these two rooms here, they have some historical interest and I want to show them to you. So this is the first room. I want you to notice this window, that window, that one up there, and also the bars on this door. This one. So I'm trying to close it because that's what the guide did. And he left us here for two minutes. And because there's so much ventilation, we could breathe very well. We could breathe very well and we were okay for two minutes. So this was the Portuguese soldiers, the one who misbehaved. This was their prison or their jail cell. This is where they were held. Now let's go to the next room, okay? Give me a minute. Let's go to the next room. Hello, you're welcome. Right, so my name is Ben. Okay. This is the next one. Look around. Look around. This leads to the other room. It leads to the Portuguese uh, soldiers' jail cell. So look at this. Do you see any windows? Do you see any sort of ventilation? Look at the door. I don't want to close it because uh, because the guy closed it for one minute. We couldn't breathe. All of us were like, open the door. So can you guess who was held here? The other one I told you is the Portuguese soldiers. Okay. So guess who was held here? I'll give you a minute. So, the captives who tried to fight for their independence, for their freedom, the ones who didn't want to obey the slave masters, this is where they were put. And they were locked here without food, without drink, until they died. So this was basically, the, he called it the uh, condemnation room, or the execution, execution room. Once you enter this room, there was no living, and they didn't shoot you. They didn't stab you, they let you starve to death. Yes. yes, thank you. Thank you very much, Portuguese. Very interesting. So that's why it had this, this here. The skull, the X. Yes. So, hello. hello. There's still one more point of interest that I will show you later. So this right here was made in honor. It's a plaque. The first uh, governor, he came here and he died. It's in old ancient Dutch. He died after three months. It came in January of, uh, uh, the year, 1758. And he died three months later. And this was made in his honor. <laughs> then there's a message from the priest here. This says, <laughs> that was hilarious for me. He said that uh, the, the, 
the the governor was a man of honor he was very kind he was very what <laughs> the governor was in charge of uh, slave trade <laughs> these people had that sense of humor <laughs> anyway the guy said hello to is one of the guys here and i'm afraid that they'll, that they'll catch me now so it's time to go i think i've shown you all there is to see so let me talk to you when i get outside okay okay bye so now we're outside of the of the castle i just came from the washroom it's on there and i wanted to show you the moat this is the moat that i was telling you about that i was trying to show you from up there the one that's filled with water so uh no invaders could come through and then there is a bridge I want to show you the bridge I was telling you about, the hanging one. Okay. I'm also trying to pull my, <laughs> you know the thing that uh, straps my GoPro to my hand, just to secure it. Yeah. And this is the bridge, the hanging bridge. So you can pull it up with this chain, and then nothing can pass, and because there is water, nothing can pass from here. And this is the view of the castle from outside. It's quite massive, actually. And the guide told us that this is the biggest uh, castle uh, in terms of... Uh, biggest castle in the world in terms of the transatlantic slave trade. And that is the fort that I was telling you about. The one over there that the Dutch built. Um, and how was your visit? Very well, thank you. <laughs> you remember my name? <laughs> okay, so that's the, that's the one that they built uh, so the Dutch could not invade. But that's a castle. It's like huge let me try to move back so i can show you but this is what i was trying to show you but i told you i'll show you when i come closer this is um so they put a stick there in the middle where you see the white point and they used it as a the shadow where the shadow fell during the day they used it to tell the time and also it was a compass you see the white one the white patch over there and the other one it's also north east west and south and then this uh, would tell the stick where the shadow was they use it as a watch definitely uh not definitely um basically i wanted to say basically they use the watch to tell the time but i want to move back and show you like how huge how huge this uh, uh to our aunt <laughs> to our kenyan friend from south and joe nice oh thank you <laughs> no no I, 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 i've already spent enough money i don't want to spend that's anymore. for you because of you Hey, for free? Laundry, that's what put a date on it. For free? Oh, I yeah, need to for pay you. for it. For you. Uh, do I need to pay for it? I want to be no, sure before I take it. We don't share. Ah, okay. You just give it for free. Yeah. Okay, thank you. If it's for free, I'll take it. <laughs> this is so nice to our Kenyan friend, Miss Anne from yeah, Seth and Joe. You are Seth or Joe? I'm Seth and this is Joe. Ah, Seth and Joe. You. Have a nice visit at Elimina Castle 27. Six. <laughs> this is really nice actually. I like it. Thank you. <laughs> It's cool. I like it. it's a good gift. What's up? Oh, this is your number. Uh, okay. We are soccer players. That's why. Ah, you guys are soccer yeah, players. We, do, we we teach the kids one. Do you play from? Uh, yeah. Do you play? Do you play for? Do you play for the Black Stars? No, we are, we, we teach the kids. <laughs> ah, you teach kids. You but don't we, play. We want to raise our own jersey set the board for the soccer club. That's why we are here. Ah, so you're yeah. getting like donations. Donations. Ah, That's okay, right. okay. Unfortunately, I already donated some people uh, at the ca other castle today. This other castle? Not this castle, the other castle. There's oh, another castle, uh, Cape Coast. Cape, Cape Coast. Yes. I uh, already gave, like, my limit for the day is done. Yeah, but thank you so much. Thank you so much. So this is, like, the view of the castle. It's huge. I, d I don't know. I have to move, move back how far until I can show, like, the whole thing. But that's it. That's the view of the thing. Oh, I mean, this is a really nice gift. I liked it. I like it, but um, gifts with the people give you with ulterior motives, <laughs> they just hit differently, you know. If someone is giving you a gift because they want to gift you, that's one thing. But if they're giving you a gift because they have an ulterior motive, <laughs> uh, it, I feel some type of way about these gifts. I don't know if you guys feel the same, so let me know down in the comment section what you feel about gifts with ulterior motives. Yeah, but for now, I think we're done with the tour of uh, Elimina Castle. It's huge. Okay, let me just pan the camera because it's like I can't get it in one in one shot. So that's it. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed um, the tour of the castle. Now, I want to take you to, to show you a little bit of uh, Elimina Town. <laughs> it's a nice gift. 
Anne. <laughs> Miss Anne. <laughs> Who said I missed to begin with? And Anne is a. <laughs> it's my new AKA when I'm, when I'm here because nah, not everybody deserves the truth. <laughs> not everybody deserves the truth about your name, where you're staying, where you're from, and all this stuff. Uh, especially when you're traveling as a solo woman traveler, you always need to be. You always need to be a little bit careful who you're giving information and what information you're giving. Feel free to be free. I like that. Freedom bar and restaurant. I like that. So this is Elimina, Elimina town. I was told that there's a lot. Oh, something very important that I mentioned. I forgot to mention you. Wow, that was very important. Some of the houses around here. Ah, it would have been so nice if I remembered when I was up here showing you the view, I could have shown you. But not, they didn't show us like specific houses, but they told us that some of the houses here, they were built by the Europeans. Because the, when the women were sexually assaulted, uh, some of them got pregnant, you know. And so they built the, the houses for the pregnant mothers, but only those who got pregnant by the Europeans. And then <coughs> they also built a, there's a car that's quite amazing. They also built a school for those mixed race kids. Um, so those ones, they became like the educated populace <laughs> of here. But the locals were not allowed to go to the schools. Those ones were reserved for only the white, uh, the mixed race kids because they were not supposed to be at the same level with the, with the local kids. So some of these houses, they still exist to date. And uh, when uh, slave trade was abolished, the the locals um, took them over, renovated them, and they're still living here. But this is a, a, a river that's leading to the to the ocean. <laughs> and a local means of transportation, I guess. Why does it have so many clothes hung on it? Do people live there? Or what's, the, what's the deal with the clothes? If you're from Elimina or if you're from Ghana and you understand, let us know down in the comment section below. And there is a bridge. so. Yeah, that is the tour of the Cape Coast. So maybe I will show you the re what I get up to if I find anything interesting. If not, I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Let me know what you thought about this uh, video, if you enjoyed watching it. And then I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys. I enjoyed it, uh, but at the same time, I feel a little bit sad because history like this makes me, makes me sad, you know? But I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.